Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha and Brian here with my live reaction of One Punch Man, Chapter 125. Um, sorry for any background noise that you may hear. Can't really control it. But uh, anyway, um, special announcement. The uh, well, I say special. Um, I did a Fabuki Power Up video yesterday, so go check that out. But um, you can for the reaction. Oh, this it is a short chapter. People weren't kidding. Fifteen pages. I'll stretch it out to 30 minutes. I am become teching, haven't I? Hmm. But anyway, okay, let's see here. Uh, Happy New Year. I look forward to working with you this year, too. Okay, so that's from uh, Murata, it looks like. Um, or one. It, it, the talk bubble seems to be coming, yeah, coming more from Murata's name. He continues marching forward, taking another step. Okay, so we got Saitama. Looks like he just freaking punched something <laughs> with his fist because the smoke's coming off of it. And the title is Pset. So, Rover related. Yes? Okay. And there's Fabuki going. Right, the okay, so they're still doing their combo attack and they just finished it off it looks like with a kick and she's like ah! <laughs> also she looks even more like um she's not like disheveled in any way okay they both landed eh eh they defeated it <laughs> i heard that he was strong but hey and they're going in the background <laughs> he has limits right class or s class rank three silver fang <laughs> she's freaking out um well i mean he is right below your sister so you're probably thinking it's like my sister's way too strong but it's like is this really what he's capable of at this point what is he like in his prime oh my god and it's like and there's two of them <laughs> okay speaking of his elder brother over there or over here uh, just who on earth is he? He's Bang's old brother. <laughs> uh, that's all you need to know. It would be interesting to know more about Bomb, though, to be honest. Um, I mean, he just kind of just popped into the story almost. And he's kind of been a fairly constant uh, supporting character for ever since. So... But it would be nice to see, you know, more of their background and everything. If I remember correctly, he's not even a hero, is he? And yet, his strength rivals that of Silver Fangs. Uh, for some, or by some chance, I have discovered an absurd, or absurdly understanding talent. Outstanding talent. I can't read, apparently. I mustn't miss this opportunity. I need to get him in the Fabuki group at all costs. <gasps> Fabuki! <laughs> Why? No, it ain't gonna happen. Um, Mr. Bomb, was it? Hmm? <coughs> um, magnificent job. <laughs> She's just slamming over there like, oh, I'll hook this fish. Um, I'm truly impressed. Likewise, young lady. I mean, she... So, is this confirming that, like, what she did... Is it going to be totally retconned or whatever? It's hard to say because um, chapters 122 through 124 are apparently being redrawn and everything. So I don't, I can't say on two of them. I reacted to 123 though, the revision. So, and yeah, hmm. It'll be interesting to see how it gets revised, you know? Um, but this is kind of hinting at that, unless this eventually gets revised, that what we saw then is still going to be canon. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to tell you. What? Oh, God, Rover's gotten back up. Better talk quick, Fabuki. Um, the special bonus for joining the, the Fabuki group at the moment is a three kilogram uh special beef set she gives bonuses and they're like 
Hey, it's still alive. Like, just how tough is this dog? What an annoying doggy. We can't pass through. Just sit and behave. And there comes the title. Which is an automopia for surprise. Okay. And wait. Is Rover reacting? Because he's kind of like got, well, the best you can of Rover with a facial expression. But he looks shocked. And he fucking sat. Well, damn. Saitama really beat the shit out of... Wait. That's what Saitama said when he punched him, wasn't it? So now anybody that says it, is he's going to react this way, isn't he? Do, do, do we have a new ally in the form of Rover? If Saitama can train him enough? Because it's funny that this is happening with people that know about Saitama and everything. So this would be funny as hell. You know, like, all of a sudden they come up and it's like, There's a monster behind you! It's like, no. No, that that's the new doggo of the group. You know, it's like, you have an executive under your power? What the hell? Um, I wonder if he would get along with Watchdog Man. Hmm. Who knows? Um, it actually sat down. All right, let's hurry on uh, forward. That was our special secret join technique. You'd think it would have at least had some effect. My confidence uh, just got crushed again after facing that giant centipede. Oh, so it's oh yeah, it is basically the same thing again. It's like damn you, dragon level threats in my old man bones. Uh, poor bomb. What's the matter? My back gave out. <laughs> oh, so, so Fabuki's just like, yeah, this this is a harrowing day, isn't it? Um, let's see here. Okay, we're back with Tatsumaki. This power. This Fabuki here? Oh, so she can sense Fabuki as well. I mean, it makes sense. If um, Fabuki can, like, extend her sensory, you know, scope, you know, with extra sensory and whatnot... It makes sense, though it's a lot harder for her to do, uh, then Tatsumaki should be able to do it, no problem. But, uh, hmm. I clearly told them she absolutely cannot be allowed to get involved. I'll make sure to give uh, Sekengar a piece of my mind later. Th th you'll probably rip out a piece of his mind, is probably what's going to happen. It's like, I hope you like your your robotic eye because you're about to get another one <laughs> you know something like that i could definitely see that happening uh what is this train car cart thing going on here rolling down it's side tama flashy and oh it's the little monster from the toilet scene um <laughs> oh look th this is very like old mine shaft kind of deal so like who the hell built some of this shit? And Saitama's just having fun. Woo! It's a roller coaster. I'm too cheap to go to an amusement park. Hey, how long uh, before we arrive at Monster at the or at Monster King's place? Uh, about ten minutes. It is time for the match of the millennium. <laughs> Flash, he's, he's like, I'm getting my sword ready. I had no idea that there was so much stuff going on beneath my home. Damn it, I wouldn't have been so bored had I thought about or had known about this earlier. He is too cheap to go to an amusement park. <laughs> Simmer down. If you fall into a trap, I will leave you behind. <laughs> I'm totally focused, okay? He's like, yeah, mom, I'm focused, okay? I'm not about to get knocked in the head by something that probably would break, to be honest. But, you know, it would be, be a funny little scene. Um, uh, this is way, am or, this is why amateurs are. Okay, we're seeing further down the track, but there's like a light going on. Huh? Up until now, I've had, had what? Oh, <laughs> it's really roller coaster now. It's just like a straight, pew, drop off. My fair share of... And here we go! Oh! Wah! <laughs> Scream like Kevin. Wah! 
<laughs> kind of deal. I don't know. Um, okay. There's a Guru Guru eye just stuck to the ceiling. They must be like camera network then. You know, like a fixated camera instead of like the bugs flying around, which both are effective but in different ways. Let's see. And he's still going, Woo! Be quiet, will you? <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder how secure these, like, some of these supports. I say it, and then the, I turn the page, and the track has a dead end, and I can imagine which way they're about to go. Just you wait. I'll drop this whole cart down the valley at the switching point up ahead. Wait. You're going to commit suicide just to get rid of them? I mean, you might have to, but... <laughs> Taking an S-Class hero into the afterlife is the greatest underdog victory ever. And it shows his, his like, soul with the, like, little halo and the wings. And it's like, ha ha! He's got flashy and then extras written on Saitama. They all have the wings and the halos. Uh, oh, that's quite the drop. Eh, maybe. Maybe I'll wait a little longer for another opportunity so he he wussed out you pussy monster you i mean it probably wouldn't have worked but it's still kind of funny um end end if you didn't know Murata made some revisions to 122 and 123 you can check them out too oh are they on this site and i've just i hmm maybe yep they are hmm i'll have to look that up later or, if you want me to live react to 122, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I did 123 and I didn't know about 122 at the time. I didn't see it on the site I was reading on, but a different site. But, uh, hmm. That was none too bad. I mean, the length is a bit of an issue, but with all these revisionist chapters, it makes sense that... Murata, you know, he's splitting his time between, you know, moving forward and fixing what he viewed as a mistake and everything. I think it was more of like the transitions between the chapters was his big thing. So, yeah. I'm fine with whatever I get, so it doesn't really ma matter to me. But, um, yeah. That, that was interesting. Um, we have... Pupper, <laughs> um, Pupper Rover now, <laughs> and uh, Overgrown Pupper. I, I, that's what I'm going to call this chapter, uh, or call this video. Um, and Saitama and Flashy, more Saitama, having fun on a Minecraft, or Minecraft. We're not playing Minecraft, Gijin, we're not playing Minecraft, not yet, anyway. Um, Minecart. And, uh, yeah, that, that was, hmm. But, yeah, I, I'm glad I remember that that's the little monster that we saw. And I think it was, that was in, yeah, that was in the 123 revision. We saw him sitting on the toilet, like, they barged into the bathroom, and he's like, what? It's like, oh, no. <laughs> kind of, I imagine that's how he would have reacted in the stall or whatever the bathroom looks like all we saw i think was the toilet so probably all we need to see i don't want to see no pile of poo um but yeah so uh it's it's cool that they actually gave fabuki her props you know it's like you you, you did quite well yourself young lady it's like but bomb also with his uh it's like crap it it, it happened again we together can't defeat a dragon level threat so that that keeps him humble and that is perfectly fine um bang doesn't seem to have that issue or at least he doesn't address it even in a mental capacity as a monologue i'm rather surprised either he just doesn't have that problem or we're just not being led along with that and also Tatsumaki is sensing Fabuki. I wonder if it's because she's exuding so much power. Maybe she's gotten stronger than she has before because you would think that Tatsumaki would have picked up on where she was prior to this chapter. You know? 
I mean, like, if she's always, like, trying to somewhat keep a tabs on her sister, even if she's not always the most active protector of her kind of deal, which, eh, can we even really say that she actively protects her? Um, we can't, but the second gar, I, I wish you the best hope, man, because uh, you might have more prosthetic parts by the end of this arc. Um... Or the start of next arc, actually. Hmm, who knows? But anyway, um, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Um, do you want me to do a live reaction of 122, the revised version, or not? Um, may not even be worth it. I don't know. Um, I'll let you be the judges of that. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, I stream on Twitch for gaming. I upload it to YouTube. I tweet that stuff out along with whenever content goes up on the channel so you know so follow me on that so that you can kind of stay in the loop about what I'm doing and everything uh, again watch the Fabuki power-up video it was fun um, the uh, I'm part of a couple podcasts the one punch podcast and the weekly manga podcast um, that is on Grim Reaper's channel uh, for the the pod or the one punch and then the weekly manga is co-hosted with me and griever but check out their channels and uh yeah anyway uh check out my other content see what you like suggest things you want to see in the future and uh yeah as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and until next time quichelings we've got bumper <laughs>